Hello and welcome to Lifeline. I'm your host, Apostle Brian Pruitt. Today I want to talk about it's okay to walk away. So something very interesting happened when my son and I went to go get our hair cut. And, um, you know, when I go to my barber, uh, the way the sign up list list goes is that, uh, those who are, you know, pull, you know, we all pull up uh, in front of the shop and based upon that, that's how you see who goes first, second, third, and so forth. So my son and I, you know, we had pulled up and, uh, on the opposite side of the street, there were no cars. And so a little bit after that, there was uh, two cars that, that pulled up. So I figured, okay, they know, they understand that they will be the last ones in line. So my barber shows up. And so I get out the truck. The guy in, uh, that was in front of me got out of his truck. And we go to the door to sign in. So uh, this young guy who uh, was in one of the cars, he came across the street and was making the beeline to the door. And so he jumped in front of the uh, guy that was in front of me and the one that was, the guy that was in front of me said, he said, Hey little man, uh, you know, I was here before you. And you know, the guy said, no, no, you wasn't, you know, we were sitting over there. He said, no, he said, I was sitting over there. I'm parked. That's, that's my car right there. I've been parked over there and uh, I was here before you. And so my barber came out he said, Hey, listen, uh, the way this works is, is that whoever, you know, uh, shows up, uh, you go according to, uh, based upon where you're parked. And so the young man said, well, you know, this man out here being rude and everything. And so, uh, the guy goes on and signs his name and walks off. And so as the young man is going to sign his name, he's, I said, well, Hey, Hey guy, you know, I was right behind him. And he said, were you in that, in that particular truck there? I said, yeah. I said, that's my truck. I was sitting behind him. He said, well, we pulled up and we, uh, we, we pulled up. And so we were next. And so he stopped. He said, wait a minute. I know you. Hey, Mr. Pruitt. And I say, hey, I remember you from a particular school. I used to work at a particular school and now, you know, I, I recognize him right off. <laughs> and so we say we, we're talking a little bit and everything and and in that moment i chose not to push the issue i said hey man go ahead and sign in you know it, it's fine and so we you know we got to talking and so forth and uh, i said hey man you know it's good to see you you know uh, is any other students that are going to the particular school you're going to he said yeah he said there's a few of us there i said okay i said well it's good to see you he said well good to see you too and so as I got in my, uh, my, my truck, you know, I left my number, uh, for my barber to just call us whenever, uh, he's ready as I turn to come up. And I thought about this, you know, many of us, uh, are, uh, have situations like that where we have an opportunity to, uh, to, um, uh, take it further <laughs> or just, you know, walk away. And a lot of, and a lot of times, um, most of the time I should say that, uh, we have the opportunity to uh, choose life or death. Now, hear me out, please hear me out. Because sometimes there's some situations, yes, you must address, but it's all about how you address it. But even after you address a matter, you are in control of the situation. Let me say that again. You are in control of the situation. It matters not how the other person responds. You are in control of the situation. So you can take it further or you can say, you know what? I'm just going to just walk away. Walking away doesn't mean that you're weak. Walking away doesn't mean that they got away with something. And, you know, listen, the hardest thing for us to do is to walk away knowing that we were right. You could be right. Now in that situation was, was, was I right? Absolutely. And from what I, from what I saw, I saw that there was no cars over there. I saw when the young guy pulled up. Okay. So we actually were the next word, next ones in line, but I chose not to push the issue because number one, I knew the young man. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, <laughs> And I remember some things about him, but, but more than that, we got to learn, you know, to let some things go. Now I'm not saying that I have uh, achieved this, 
but I'm learning this every day that, you know, some situations and hear me now, some situations don't have to turn sour. If we understand that we're in control, we're in control of the point. You listen, you, you know, what really gets us in trouble, you know, it really causes fights and, and, and all, and all that kind of, you know, brawls or whatever is because you have two individuals who are choosing not to back down, or you have a individual that's choosing not to back down. And it's not because, Oh, you know, because, you know, they're trying to exercise their right or whatever. Most of the time is pride. Let's be honest. Most of the time it's just pride. I'm not going to let them get away with it. I'm not going to let them, you know, uh, uh, sit there and think that they're right. And so a lot of times it's important for us to say, Hey, you know what, what's, what's more important me being right, me being right. Or this thing going to another place to where now you got other people involved. Now this turns into a whole melee. Now this turns to someone getting hurt or even, uh, someone losing their life. I guarantee you, I guarantee you there are people right now they are sitting up in hospital rooms or sitting at home and they are just saying to themselves, had I just walked away, none of this would have happened. Had I just chose to just say, you know what? It's not a big deal. I'll just do this instead. Because there are loved ones who are in hospitals. There are loved ones who have, you know, some people who have uh, lost loved ones. There's some people who have, you know, uh, uh, lost body parts and functions to their body parts because they just chose, they said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. What, what the guys, I, uh, Dave Chappelle, I, I watched, I used to watch his, um, his, um, comedy back in the day. And it's so funny. He had this skit that was called when keeping it real goes wrong. Now it was absolutely hilarious, but there was a truth behind that because you have, a choice to say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to take this further because I'm right. You're wrong. And I'm going to make sure I, you, I give you a piece of my mind. I'm going to make sure that I'm the one that's the dominant one in this. And nine times out of 10, you're the one that ends up being in ends up <clears throat> looking foolish and ends up uh, paying the price. And so, you know, we, you know, a lot of times we, you know, we want to, you know, get upset, especially when the, when, uh, when the police gets involved and everything. And then, you know, when the police has to turn to you and say, well, you know what, you know, what did you do? Well, you know, they were the one that started, you know, well, no, what did you do? What did, were, were you the one that, that kicked this off? Well, I'm not going to let nobody. Okay. So all of that can be avoided if you just walk away. Now, like I said, there's certain, some things that you have to address but even if you have to address it, you say what needs to be said and then you just move on because one of the things that you cannot do, one of the things that you cannot do, you cannot change a person who is angry. You cannot change a person who is, you know, uh, they're, they are, they are standing on the fact that they're right. And that young man thought he was right. He, he thought, he thought he was right in what he did. And he was clearly wrong. As a matter of fact, from his from from where he was parked, he didn't see my truck. He didn't see me parked behind the guy. Or he could have seen and was just lying. Don't know. But the fact of the matter is, what's more important? Listen, you know what? I didn't see this. I haven't seen this young man in years. You know, he's a former student. It was good to see him. Uh, and I went that angle. I went that road. So my point is this, you always have a choice and don't, don't, don't lie to yourself ever again. And don't believe that lie. Right, well, I ain't have no choice, but no, you always have a choice in the matter to do things a certain way. You do. You always have a choice. And so my encouragement to you today is just to think about what really matters. You know, we get up, you know, we want to start our day off right. And, you know, something, you know, we, you know, we, get up and have a good day of rest, nice day of rest. You know, sometimes we are having uh, plans, uh, uh, you know, with our family and everything. And then we run into a situation and then also we just, <clears throat> we just choose to, uh, react in a certain way. And now our whole day is altered 
you know, because of a particular matter. How many people, how many people went out uh, to go kick it and chill and all that kind of stuff? And that was the plan. They didn't plan to go out to fight. They didn't plan to go out, you know, to uh, get into some kind of situation, altercation. No, they didn't plan to do that, <laughs> but they can control the matter. You can choose that. You know what? Forget this. I'm just going to walk away. Whatever. I'm, I'm gone. And let and let folks talk. Let folks speak. <clears throat> Listen, people will say things to, to try to push your buttons. They will say things. They will call you names, all that kind of stuff. But you are still in control of the matter. So that's my uh, advice to you today. I really, really hope that not only that helps, but I really hope that you hear me because your day don't have to turn uh, sour and things don't have to be worse because you chose to be right. <laughs> All right. Instead of just saying, you know what? I'm just going to walk away from this and just move on. I'm telling you, there's a blessing in that. Okay. Well, thank you for listening and I'll see you next time right here on Lifeline. Thank you.